Hi, I'm Julie Hassan. Welcome to Everyday Dish. I want to show you how to make a fabulous recipe for spicy Italian vegetarian sausage. And yes, I did say vegetarian and they are out of this world good. Perfect to throw into stews and soups and sandwiches, you name it, you can use these sausages for it. So I want to show you how to make it. Come on over here and let's start cooking. Okay, to begin with, I have uh, Vital Wheat Gluten. And this is the brand that I like to use is Bob's Red Mill. It comes out consistently for me every time. You just want to make sure when you're using the gluten flour that you spoon it and scrape it into your bowl. You don't want to pack it down because that will affect the amount of liquid we're adding in here. Okay, so we have our, um, our gluten flour and to that we're going to add uh, garbanzo bean flour and we've got some um, vegetarian chicken flavor. This is called Bill's Best Chicknish. And the reason I like that one for this particular recipe is that it has less salt in it, so it's not as salty. You could use another vegetarian bouillon powder, but you're gonna wanna cut way back on that because there might be a lot of salt in there. Oftentimes they have a lot of salt. So anyways, just be careful of that. Now we have some nutritional yeast flakes and we have granulated onion. There's a lot of ingredients in this, but that's what gives it all of its incredible flavor. We have um, salt, and I'm using sea salt, chili flakes. You could omit those if you wanted something that was less spicy. A little bit of allspice. We have dried oregano, ground black pepper, and I like to coarsely grind it in a, um, oh, just like a little food processor or a spice mill. Um, smoked paprika, and regular sweet paprika. So what we want to do is we want to just kind of lightly mix those together, our dry ingredients. It doesn't have to be too well mixed. And then we've got those. Now for the wet ingredients we have cool water. Always use cool water when you're using gluten. Never use hot water because it will activate the gluten and it'll be a big mess for you and very hard to work with. So we have our cool water, um, olive oil, we have soy sauce, and we have a lot of garlic. Now the garlic, again, gives it that great flavor. Okay, so we're gonna just quickly whisk that together. Now, if you want to, you can also add fennel seeds. You could add a tablespoon or two of dried fennel seeds. Some people like them, some people don't. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add those in, and now we're gonna stir in our wet ingredients get all that great garlic at the bottom. Okay, and then what you want to do, you want to mix it only until it's incorporated. Now, one of the things I love about this sausage recipe is the fact you don't have to knead it, you don't have to use a mixer, you literally just use a fork and a bowl and the whole thing comes together. And it's really easy to work with. You do, however, want to make sure that all of your spices are mixed in well. If you still have a little pockets of dry and this is just, it looks like it needs a little bit more water, you could add another tablespoon or so of water. You just don't want it too wet. Okay, so now we have our sausage mix. I mean, how quick was that? So easy. And you're gonna have so much fun with this recipe because it's endless what you can do with the sausages. Okay, so what I do is I take pieces of foil. If you don't want to use foil, you could use a, uh, like a muslin tea towel or a flour sack towel that you've cut into pieces about this size. But this is what I'm gonna use to roll my sausages in. Half cup measure works really well, so about a half cup of the gluten mixture. And put that in. It doesn't have to be packed, you just want about a half a cup. And then what I do, it's very, again, really easy to work with, and you just shape it just like that. It doesn't even have to be, um, you know, compact or anything like that. But then what you do is with the foil, we're gonna wanna put that over, and then this is where you're gonna wanna shape it. And you wanna just roll it into your sausage link and twist the end, and you've got that. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing this with the rest of the dough. You'll wind up with eight sausages. Okay, here's the last sausage. 
see how easy this dough is to work with? It's nice and moist, but it, it's not too firm. It's really a nice seitan dough to work with. Okay, so we have the sausage right here. We're just going to roll this one up. And you could make these into smaller lengths if you wanted to. I just find that this is a good size to use. Okay, so we have the last one. We have all eight. Now, this is what we're going to want to use. Is I have this steamer that I got. It's very inexpensive. I got it from an Asian market. But I like it because it has lots of flat surface area, which is really what you want with the sausages. Um, because they need to lie as flat as they can. I have made a lot of these sausages in at one time where I was able to stack them in the steamer and that worked out just fine too. So okay, we're gonna put our eight sausages in here. And they need to steam for 30 minutes and then they're done. I mean, it's so simple. And uh, you're just gonna have so much fun with these, especially being vegetarian if you felt like you really miss sausages or you didn't want to spend a fortune on some of the um, different brands of vegetarian sausages out there, well, this is your ticket. Okay, so we're going to put the lid on. I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes, and then we'll have sausages. It's been 30 minutes that they've been steaming, so they're ready to take out now. If you want to at this point, you can take the lid off the pot and let them, you know, just sit there for another 10, 15 minutes. It won't hurt them at all. Um, but you don't want to let them steam any longer than that. Okay, now we're going to open it up. The magic begins. And they're hot, very hot. And this is what you wind up with, this beautiful looking sausage. It will firm up overnight, refrigerated. You know, once it's cool, you throw it in the refrigerator, it'll firm up overnight, and you get these gorgeous slices of sausage. They're so much fun. Um, I mean, literally, I've been throwing them in everything. Quick tip about the sausage too, um, when you're making the seitan, it can tend to stick to the bowl, so I find that it works better with a glass or ceramic bowl, and use cold water and soap to clean it out, and you can run it through the dishwasher, and that is like a no muss, no fuss, easy peasy way to clean up after your seitan. So let's just slice into this so you can see, oh, this is just gorgeous, yum, really hot, or else I would pop a piece in my mouth right now, actually I'm going to dip one of these. Mm. Okay, one more thing. I have to tell you, I've been so inspired by this recipe that I have made all kinds of variations on it. I've done chorizo, I've done apple sage, I mean it is endless the flavor combinations you can do. So, I want to challenge you to come up with all kinds of variations on this sausage recipe and the theme and I can't wait to see what kind of recipes you guys come up with and flavor combinations and all of the details are going to be up on our website just go to the everydaydish.tv website and click on the blog for more information on the challenge and for the recipe of course you can go to everydaydish.tv and there's the recipe, the video and so many other delicious recipes as well and I can't wait to see all the wonderful combinations of sausages you guys come up with so go make the sausages have fun and start cooking see you later on everyday dish